Hey everyone and welcome back to Miss Finance and in today's video I'm going to give you an overview of Xero. So let's get into it. So as you can see on the top here, if you were to select an organisation that's going to be shown on the left hand side. So we've got the dashboard, business, accounting, payroll, projects and contacts. So in the dashboard here we've got um, business bank accounts, savings accounts, cash in and out and on the watch list here we can add various items so certain nominals that we want to keep a track of for instance and we also see what invoices are owed to you and what bills you need to pay and also some expense claims in this particular dashboard so if we go to business here we can see short-term cash flow so if we select a bank and go to the next 30 days this gives us a little projection and a breakdown and also suggested actions, which we can click into. So that's quite useful. And we can also go to business snapshot. And here we can see the P&L, income, expenses, net profit margin, gross profit margin, and also some other analytics. Now under business as well, this is where we're going to be raising sales invoices and also um, adding in purchase invoices. So invoices here, and quotes and sales overview is your sales section and then bills to pay purchase orders and purchase overview is your purchase section now if you're also using expenses within zero which you can do then it's going to be showing down here so if we move on to accounting this here is where you're going to be running all of your reports so there's lots and lots of reports under here and also there's um, advanced information that you can enter into zero now here there's been some starred accounting reports from this reports label which is just some reports that have been starred as favorites so they're just going to show here so you can add to those and take away of course and under advanced we've got chart of accounts find and recode fixed assets and manual journals starred as favorites so if we just go ahead and have a look at what reports looks like in here we can see all of these different reports so again those that have got star on which you can just select like this Will be showing as favorites and we've got various different tabs here so custom advisor drafts publish file with hmrc and archived and if we just go back one and we go to advanced this is where we've got financial settings tax rates fixed asset settings report codes report fields etc so again we can add those to favorites by simply clicking on the star okay now let's have a look at what the chart of accounts looks like in zero so you can make these your own really. So you can customize these as you need to. You can add in new account codes under assets, liabilities, equities, expense, revenue. You can also archive old nominal codes that are not of interest. And you can also use this little search button here to search for, let's just say interest. And it'll come up with interest income and interest paid. So if you need to add a new account that's not already showing in here, you can add a new code and it'll tell you if that's um, so you've got to select the account type so let's just say that this here is other income and you select 271 it'll let you know if that's available and you can add a name and a short name and also affect the tax settings for that particular account so I'm just going to cancel that so let's have a look at what a balance sheet looks like so there we go. So we've got all of our fixed assets at the top, current assets, creditors falling due within one year or more than one year, and then capital and reserves. Now you can play around with the reports in zero to change from, you know, comparable to two years, for example, and just update. You can change the date really quickly, or you, you can select today, end of this month, or a custom date, for example. And then if we look at the PL, it looks quite similar. So there you go, we've got turnover, we've got cost of sales, admin costs, operating profit, any tax, etc. And again, you can change the date range. So we can just have this month and we can have a comparison. Let's just put two months just like that. So you can compare what's happened in this period compared to the last period, for example. So that's really useful. So next, if you've got the project section highlighted, we can look at all projects in here. So you can track time on the go, um, you can view job profitability, etc. in here as well. So let's move on to contacts. So in contacts here, 
if we click on all it's going to show us all suppliers and all customers as well but if we just want suppliers we can click on suppliers and just customers just customers and if we click on what a customer's account looks like if there's any invoices outstanding they're going to show at the top here we've got all of our contact detail information and then down the side here we've got um, any invoices previously uh, bills awaiting payment etc let's have a look at a supplier account just to show you what that looks like as well so if we have a look at a supplier account and we just go to this central copiers here you'll see that this looks very similar to a customer account so you've got contact details any um, invoices outstanding and if we click on the invoice there it's going to take us to the information related to that invoice now here if there was an item added so an invoice added to zero which you can do you'll find it in here and otherwise you can upload a file or add a file from library in here now the other thing that i want to just look at quickly is if we go to accounting and we go to fixed assets so within zero you've also got a fixed asset register that you can use so here we can add assets we can run depreciation import and export via csv and here under drafts what this actually does it's really clever so if you post into the nominal codes on the balance sheet for assets it's going to bring them up here and then you can simply click onto them and then register which will then bring them onto the registered items here as you can see and we can run depreciation for any period as you can see here now if you ever make a mistake in zero let's just run that there and you need to reverse the depreciation you can roll it back by simply clicking on this here so it's very very useful now the other thing you can do if i just click back to dashboard is up here we've got a shortcut so here if we just click on the plus we can create an invoice bill contact quote purchase order a journal spend receive money transfer money and if we just want to see what journals look like if we go to accounting and we go to manual journals here you just simply create a journal enter in the information and click on post and that then hits the ledger so description accounts debit credit and region if that's applicable and we can also auto reverse journals or fix them as templates so there we go let's click on cancel there so that's just a very quick overview of what zero looks like and in this short mini series i'm going to be talking you through zero and how to use it so there you go follow for more